Here are parts C and D from question 4 from the IB1 quadratics test. Uh, a little bit more difficult than parts A and B because first thing we should notice, yes, these are quadratics again. We have the largest exponent is a 2. But in both of these questions, we now have coefficients in front of these x squareds. So the fact that we're using factoring, that aspect makes it a little bit more difficult um, in finding those numbers that actually work. So what changes here? Normally we want, when we have a quadratic and a trinom trinomial situation like this, where it's something x squared plus something x plus a number, we want two numbers that multiply to this back number and add to this middle number. The only time this changes is when there's that coefficient in front of the x squared here, and that changes what we want to multiply to. So we now not want to multiply to negative 7, but we want to multiply to negative 7 times that coefficient, which is 6. So we need two numbers that multiply to negative 42. The addition numbers do not change, so we still need to add to plus 19. Okay, so all, all that changes is we need to multiply to, I'll call it A times C, so the front number times the back number. So let's go through some numbers that might work for this. So we've got 6 and 7 might come to mind right off the bat. Those can't add to 19. We've got uh, 13 and, uh, I'm sorry, we've got 21 and 2. Oh, and those are 19 apart. So there we go. That's perfect. So we've got positive 21 and negative 2. The reason I knew it was positive 21 and negative 2 is because I had to add to positive 19. So we needed more positives than negatives. So now we rewrite the equation, except for instead of plus 19x in the middle, we're going to break that up into the two numbers we just found. So it's plus 21x minus 2x. And then the minus 7 is the same. So all we've done is we've broken that plus 19 into plus 21 and negative 2. We haven't changed anything. We've just sort of broken it up. And now we should be able to use, uh, we should be able to factor by grouping. So just take the common factor out of the first two terms, and then a common factor of the last two terms, and we should get the same bracket showing. So 6x squared plus 21x, I can take 3x out of both of those. I'm left with 2x plus 7. And in the back two, I'm going to take a negative 1 out, because they're both negative, and I'll be left with 2x plus 7. You can see that the brackets are the same, so my final answer, you just take the common factors that you took out in one bracket, so 3x minus 1, and you're left with that 2x plus 7. Again, you can FOIL this final answer, multiply back out to get to our original question, and you'll see it works, um, but that is, again, it, it you can see there's not much writing here. It was still pretty straightforward. You just have to remember that you're looking for two numbers to multiply to A times C as opposed to just C. Now let's take a look at part D. It's a very similar question except for we've got solve again and there's an equal sign in the question. So it's an actual equation as opposed to just a, um, you know, a, a relation that we're trying to rearrange by factoring. So what do we do? Well, we always like quadratics with everything to one side. So I'm going to bring everything to the left side. So it'll be negative 5x minus 2, and then it's equal to 0. We always like everything on one side equal to 0. Now it looks just like uh, part C. So we need two numbers that multiply to A times C. So that's 12 times negative 2 is negative 24. And I want those same two numbers to add to the middle which is negative 5. Hopefully this comes to mind right away that these two numbers are going to be negative 8 and positive 3 as those are 5 apart and we want more negatives so the 8's got to be negative. So now I'm going to rewrite this but instead of the negative 5x in the middle I am going to let's actually start with the negative 8x plus 3x Again, by writing negative 8x plus 3x, that's the same as negative 5x, right? So we haven't really changed anything. Equals 0. Now I just look for my common factors. 12x squared and negative 8x. I can take a 4x out of each. I'm left with 3x minus 2. Plus nothing to take out of 3x plus 1, so we'll just leave it as a 1 out front. 3x minus 2 out of there. 
and you take your final step and you take your coefficients again so 4x plus 1 and our 3x minus 2 now this equals 0 again the, the question said to solve so we want the values for x that will make each of these brackets 0 so what value of x makes this bracket 0 negative 1 over 4 if we can't see that you can take the bracket off to the side and set it equal to 0 since that's what we want to happen minus the 1 over and you get 4x equals negative 1 so x equals negative 1 over 4 so if you can't see it right away just take the bracket off to the side set it equal to 0 and solve for x you can do the same thing with this bracket and we get x equals 2 over 3 so these are our two solutions to this question again we wanted to factor because it's very difficult to look at this form and figure out what x might be for this equation but when we get everything to one side equal to zero and then factored it's in a multiplication situation so it's much easier to see your two solutions so that's factoring with the coefficient in front and then solving uh, for x